The Gulf of Saint Lawrence, French Gulf du Saint Laurent, is the outlet of the North American Great Lakes via the Saint Lawrence River into the Atlantic Ocean. The Gulf is a semi-enclosed sea, covering an area of about 226,000 square kilometers (87,000 square miles) and containing about 34,500 cubic kilometers (8,300 cu mi) of water, which results in an average depth of 152 meters (499 feet). Geography The Gulf of St. Lawrence is bounded on the north by the Labrador Peninsula and Quebec, to the east by Saint-Pierre and Newfoundland, to the south by the Nova Scotia Peninsula and Cape Breton Island, and to the west by the Gaspé Peninsula, New Brunswick, and Quebec. As for significant islands the Gulf of St. Lawrence contains Anticosti Island, Pay, Isles de la Madeleine, Cape Breton Island, Saint-Pierre Island, and Miquelon Langlade. Half of the ten provinces of Canada adjoin the Gulf, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, and Quebec. Besides the St. Lawrence River itself, significant streams emptying into the Gulf of St. Lawrence include the Miramichi River, Natashquan River, Romaine River, Ristigouche River, Marguerite River, and Humber River. Branches of the Gulf include the Chalor Bay, Fortune Bay, Miramichi Bay, St. George's Bay, Bay St. George, Bay of Islands, and Northumberland Strait. Outlets the Gulf flows into the Atlantic Ocean through the following outlets The Strait of Belle Isle between Labrador and Newfoundland, between 15 km miles and 60 km miles wide and 60 m deep at its deepest. The Cabot Strait between Newfoundland and Saint-Pierre and Cape Breton Island, 104 km miles wide and 480 m deep at its deepest. The Strait of Canso between Cape Breton Island and the Nova Scotia Peninsula, 1.0 km .6 miles wide and 60 m deep at its deepest. Due to the construction of the Canso Causeway across the strait in 1955, it no longer permits exchange of water between the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the Atlantic Ocean. Extent <inaudible> <inaudible> The limits of the Gulf of St. Lawrence vary between sources. The International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Gulf of St. Lawrence as follows Fisheries and Oceans Canada places the western limit at Point des Monts. Protected areas St. Paul Island, Nova Scotia, off the northeastern tip of Cape Breton Island, is referred to as the graveyard of the Gulf", because of its many shipwrecks. Access to this island is controlled by the Canadian Coast Guard. Bonaventure Island on the eastern tip of the Gaspé Peninsula, Ile Brian and Rockers Ox Oiso bird rock northeast of the Magdalen Islands are important migratory bird sanctuaries administered by the Canadian Wildlife Service. The federal government of Canada has national parks along the Gulf of St. Lawrence at Forillon National Park on the eastern tip of the Gaspé Peninsula, Prince Edward Island National Park on the northern shore of the island, Couchibouguac National Park on the northeastern coast of New Brunswick, Cape Breton Highlands National Park on the northern tip of Cape Breton Island, Gros Morne National Park on the west coast of Newfoundland, and a national park reserve in the Mingan Archipelago on the Côte Nord of Quebec. The five provinces bordering the Gulf of St. Lawrence also have several provincial parks apiece, some of which preserve coastal features. Undersea features The Laurentian Channel is a feature of the floor of the Gulf that was formed during previous ice ages, when the continental shelf was eroded by the St. Lawrence River during the periods when the sea level plunged. The Laurentian Channel is about 290 meters (950 feet) deep and about 1,250 kilometers (780 miles) long from the continental shelf to the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. Deep waters with temperatures between 2 and 6.5 degrees Celsius (36 and 44 degrees Fahrenheit) enter the Gulf at the continental slope and are slowly advected up the channel by estuarian circulation. 
Over the 20th century, the bottom waters of the end of the channel, i.e. in the St. Lawrence estuary, have become hypoxic. Topic: <laughs> Cultural importance. Topic: The Gulf has provided a historically important marine fishery for various First Nations that have lived on its shores for millennia and used its waters for transportation. The first documented voyage by a European in its waters was by the French explorer Jacques Cartier in the year 1534. Cartier named the shores of the St. Lawrence River, the country of Canada's, after an indigenous word meaning village or settlement, thus naming the world's second largest country. At just about the same period, Basques came to frequent the area for whale hunting and trade with the First Nations people of the modern Canadian Atlantic and Quebec provinces. They left vestiges of their presence in many locations of the area docks, furnaces, graveyards, etc. See also St. Lawrence Seaway, Estuary of St. Lawrence, Atlantic Ocean, Anticosti Island References Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Saint Lawrence Global Observatory. The Gulf of Saint Lawrence, a unique ecosystem. Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Timing and position of late Wisconsin and ice margins on the upper slope seaward of Laurentian Channel.